Hello and thanks for watching. I want to touch on something someone mentioned. I was using an external VST and they say they don't use it because it eats up their processing power. In case you have a computer which doesn't have enough processing power, I have three ways of sorting it out. I'm going to show you uh, using logic. This track, it has a very tiny snapshot of track content and then it has a lot of plugins in it. For a tiny uh, material like this, it's eating up a lot of processing power. From what I was looking for, I, I think I've been able to design the sound the way I wanted and I'm, I'm content with that sound. So I'll just bounce it in place like that. And then after I bounce it in place, uh, it becomes an audio file. And then I will come and delete the MIDI file, which is there. Then I'm left with a file which has no plugins in it. So it means that I'm not using any processing power. Another thing is on Logic, there is this feature where you right and click on the, on the track and then you go to track header components and then you go to freeze. So you click on the freeze and then there's a freeze feature which appears there. It means it's going to freeze any plugins you have and that is going to uh, be easy on the processing power. You can just go to uh, the Logic, you go to setting and you go to audio. And then you go to the buffer size. Maybe your buffer size is low. That's why your work is hanging. So you just increase your buffer size. You only use low buffer size when you're recording to avoid latency. But when you're mixing, you need to uh, pump up your buffer size. And also when you're bouncing in place, it doesn't have to be only MIDI. You can bounce audio file. It means that you're just including all those plugging and processing in one. And then you don't need uh, to have the active plugins. Thank you.